Hello my fellow dragon, welcome back to this week's video, and today I have the two sculpture here that not only need to be repaired, but also needed to be painted and well finished for the most part as, as well. So before I do like any of the painting or like the sculpting part, I'm going to quickly fix the sculpture here. While I wait for that to dry, let's go ahead and fix the snake tongue and a few other broken items before moving on to the painting. After finally gluing in the final pieces to the sculpture, it's time to move on to the painting process for the first sculpture, the snake, which the painting is a process of its own, but I won't get into all of that till later in the video. After some painting sessions with the snake, I decided that it was best to finish the other sculpture before moving to the rest of the painting. I brought out the clay for the sculpture that I've been using to finish the job. Now I have been posting artwork of the sculpture on my Instagram before I stop working on it. Sometime I'll start projects and don't finish them, which is why the series is here. To finish projects that I intended to start on my own and finish them if I ever stop working on them, if that made any sense. Basically, I just ADHD here. Now I know in some of my videos I did stated that I did hate sculpting, but I don't hate it at all. Small sculptures like this make me realize how much I enjoy the process. And once again, I'm back with painting, and here is where I started hating painting the sculpture. I thought I could force the painting process with this sculpture, and uh, it'll look like that I did for the most part. You'll see.
With my ever-growing frustration with the other sculpture increasing, I decided that for my own sanity and for the sake of my channel, I move on to the second sculpture and started painting that one. This one turned out to be my favorite out of the two sculpture. For some reason, the sculpture has reminded me of a bunny for some reason. Maybe the dragon rabbit. For some reason, I see this creature running around in Red Eyes Park, not far from the city limit of Dust Dragon City, where the creature is happily picking up flowers or fruit that it's fine to eat, without worrying about much predators. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my analog horror series that I've started here on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, check out this video as well. Now that the bait coat is finally done, it's time to get to my favorite part of painting, dry brushing. And I picked that color to go with the color I picked for this guy. Before getting to the fun part, I need to get through the boring part first. That way, I can get to the fun part. The gray is there to help the sculpture to pop a bit more. And to see the details a lot better. Next, I lightly dry brush a greenish blue to the certain area to bring to those colors that I prompt. I put this color in areas that I believe needed it, and I strongly believe that this helped the whole piece stand out. And slowly but surely, the sculpture started to become my favorite. I need a name for this sculpture. I think I'll name her Luna, because for some reason, she's reminding me of a moon. Getting to the stomach area was a bit hard. It had a hard area to get because it was blocked off by the sculpture, but I managed. Once dry brushing was done, I decided to add in some highlight to some areas. I thought it would help bring in some more dimension to Luna. I used the same blue for the eyes as well. Then I brought in some yellow to add an acid color to this. I attempted to make things glow with using white and the color that I had used, but I don't think I had turned out right. But what do you think? Now it's time to address the elephant in the room, the sculpture, which I suppose is supposed to look like Viper. But I don't think this is Viper. I attempted to do what I did with the last sculpture, but even when I attempted to do that, I was really hating the team process. What do you think? And with that, I thought I was done. And I shot some photos with the two of them in, I shot the final shot together, and then I was going to call it quit. However, after finishing recording the final shot, I didn't like the painting process of the other snake, so I decided to go back and repaint the snake. So here is the sculpture. It's time for the snake to repaint, starting off with the base coat.
once the base coat is finished, I painted the eyes black, but I didn't have the black paint that I needed. With the eyes and base, base painted, it's time to get to the rest of the painting, starting off with a stomach and then moving on to the rest of the sculpture. Dragons next week. Bye, dragons!